Hello? Hello? Human? Can you hear me? Oh, there's no need to be afraid. Please, don't worry. I am not your enemy. I'm a friend from beyond. A forest spirit, if you will. You want me to get out of your head? Ah, oh, my dear silly human. I'm not in your head. I'm all around you. The leaves rustling in the wind. Water in the stream. I'm the tallest tree and the smallest weed. I am everything. You'd have to leave the forest if you want to get away from me. And I can help you get out the forest if you'd like. I'm not lost. I don't need your help. Don't try to hide it. You've been walking around in circles for over an hour now. You ran out of water ten minutes ago and weren't even smart enough to bring food with you on your little hike. You absolutely do need my help. You don't think you can trust me? Well, then by all means, try to find your way out of the forest all by yourself. Like the big, strong human that you are. Look, it's fine if you don't trust me. I wouldn't expect you to. However, do you really think that you have much of a choice right now? You either let me help you, or you succumb to the nightlife of the forest. I knew you could be reasonable. No. All you have to do is follow my voice. That's because I am all around you. Remember what I said about me being like the entire forest, the leaves, all that stuff? Yeah, but don't worry. I'll still give you directions even though I'm all around you. <laughs> you didn't happen to bring a compass with you, did you? Of course you didn't. Are all humans as unintelligent as you? Or are you an exception? <laughs> ah, no need to get your underwear in a twist. I was only kidding. I'm sorry. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm still going to help you find your way out. I just want to tease you a bit. It's so much fun watching an adorable little human like you squirm. Fine. <sighs> you are no fun at all. Anyways, see all of the moss on the trees around you? Notice how the moss is only growing on one side of the tree. Moss usually only grows on north-facing surfaces. So congrats! Now you know where north is. So, the way you get out of the forest is to the east. Don't be afraid. Yes, you do have to go off the trail, but you'll be fine. That is how a lot of people go missing, but... I will be here to guide you. You will be safe. I promise. You know, it's not too often people get lost here. You're the first human I've had to help in years. For the most part, yes, these woods are safe. Of course, there are things like wolves and bears and all kind of stuff like that. 
but it's rare that they actually attack humans. And when they do, it's usually the human's fault. Humans will often attempt to agitate the wildlife, and then get mauled, torn apart, devoured. It's pathetic, really. You humans think you can control everything, that you can get away with anything. But then they come into nature and find out what really controls the world. That's how it's pathetic. <laughs> you are definitely pathetic, but pathetic in like a, a cute way, like a little kitten that's lost. It's fun watching your little legs stumble around in the forest. You're like an insect, or a blind mouse, trying to crawl through a maze of thorns. It's cute. You're cute. You don't like me compared to an insect? Why not? Is it because it makes you feel like I could easily crush you if I wanted to? Maybe pin you to a spreading board? Or just devour you? <laughs> you are so adorable when you squirm around. I do love to tease you. I will stop for now though. I don't want you to run off and get even more lost. Don't know what I'd do then if you went too deep in the forest. One of the more evil spirits might find you then. Oh, yes, there are evil spirits here. You're lucky to have come across me, one of the friendly ones who likes humans. But others would have no issue with just annihilating you. I'm sorry. I'll stop trying to scare you. But they, they are actually out there. Yes, you are getting close to the exit of the forest. Just keep going where you're going. Further and further into the dark. Oh, you seem a bit frightened again. How unfortunate. Oh, you never stop being scared of me. I can't say I blame you. There's no need to worry, though. Like I said, you're almost out. Why is the forest getting denser? That's because the forest is getting more dense. You'd think that the deeper you are in the forest, the more dense it is. But this forest tends to get more dense just before the exit. Just keep following my voice. And you'll be fine. Oh, you're not feeling too good. I wonder why that is. Let me guess your symptoms. You're feeling lightheaded, tired. Like your own weight is crushing you? Hmm... You just breathed in some modified pollen. It'll wear off eventually. Well, I modified the pollen, of course. You didn't really think you would leave this forest tonight, did you? Don't bother trying to run. Vines are already coiling around your ankles. You can't escape. You're mine. Why, hello there. It's nice to meet you face to face. What am I going to do with you? Well, I did mention some options earlier. I could crush you, devour you, pin you to a board. Maybe just keep you as a pet. 
Or I could just play with you a bit and then let you go. I think I'll just leave your fate to your imagination. And you'll find out the truth soon. But for now, sleep, my sweet little human. <laughs>